Hey everybody, I'm back for another video review, and this time we are looking at the G.I. Joe, The Rise of Cobra, Cobra Commander. Now, this figure is very nice indeed. Of course, it's not like the classic 80s Cobra Commander, but it is a very nice figure. And it does look similar to what he did in the movie. Now, as far as the Cobra Commander overall look, I must say, I do like the look. I know it's not the 80s, so what, but I do dig the look. And uh, I like the fact that they've added the uh, 80s classic Cobra Commander blue on the inside of the coat here. Very nice. Nice little nod. So then, let's start off with the small things first. So, looking at the accessories, we have a remote control communicator thing. He can't really hold it anyway, so I just peg it onto the side of his leg, and there's the peg. We have his nanite injector. As you can see, we've got the green nanites here. And, uh, yeah, that can peg into the side of his leg. We have his classic gun, which is a repaint of the 25th anniversary gun for the figure of Cobra Commander. I like the fact they included that. And he comes with a Cobra Snake. Now, this looks very similar to the way that Cobra Commander looked in Season 3 of G.I. Joe when he was a snake. In uh, Operation Dragonfire, I believe it was. But yeah, he kind of... The snake kind of looks similar to that drawing. So, yeah, but it's supposed to represent the snake in the tank when the Neo Vipers are putting their hands in and rejecting the venom due to the nanites in them but uh, yeah but other than that it's just a cobra snake and if we zoom out here a little bit we have a giant missile launcher now it's not a big big missile launcher it's kind of like a very small one um, here it is next to cobra commander I mean you can actually hold it on without having it look oversized as you can see here it actually fits the figure really well and also he comes with his stand which he is standing on right now so that's it for accessories now let's go into the posability now take him off his stand here he has rotation in the head he, his head can move left to right as well as up and down a little his arms can rotate 360 degrees, bend at the elbow, rotate at the elbow, rotate at the wrist standard arm posability uh, move back and forth at the leg, double jointed knees bend at the foot, rotate at the foot, so on and that's really it, and he does have some uh, chest rotation as well but it's hindered by the jacket as well as some other articulation, which of course is hindered by the jacket. But, um, yeah, he stands on his stand really nicely. The amount of detail on this, on this figure is really nice. You've got the Cobra logo there on the side of his jacket. You've got the, uh, sort of like metal vest that he's got on. Then you've got his pants and then moving onto his shoes, which are really smart for Cobra Commander. You wouldn't expect Cobra Commander to be wearing these type of shoes, but uh, anyway. Then the main feature of the figure is, of course, the head. Now, as you can see here, we've got some clear translucent plastic, which represents the mouth. It is a little painted here at the bottom in silver. I do like the head design. I will admit, I do like the head design. 
if you're really stretching the imagination, and this is only if you're really stretching it, it, it you know, it kind of looks like a real world version of the um, season three um, Cobra Commander uh, with his battle mask on. Uh, you know, it, it's kind of stretching the imagination, but you kind of see where, I guess. Now, behind the um, translucent plastic, you can actually see his face, which has a ton of detail. It looks like he's been really burnt up. And he also has a hole in his head. <laughs> I don't know why he has a hole in his head for, but, uh, yeah. Now, I really wish they would have carried on the silver more towards round here. You know, just so that... So it actually looks like he's actually hiding his face with the mask. Because really the whole purpose in the 80s was to... Um, well, he put on the mask to hide his face. His defigured face. So... Uh, he put on the mask to hide it, and this mask <laughs> doesn't really hide it, it just more like gives him an edge. So I really wish they would have added a little bit more of a silver round here. I like the fact that you can actually see the red through it, but again, I'm more like one of these people where Cobra Commander wears a mask to hide his defigured face. That should be the reason why he wears the mask. There's no point in him having the mask if you know, if you can see his face through it. So, yeah. That's kind of my reasons to why I'm kind of on the fence with this head design. I do like the detail in it, just I think the point of the mask should be to hide his defigured face. I don't mind the eye showing through, although that eye there kind of looks like it's melted, but that's the way all the figures look. And, uh, yeah, that's it for the detail. Now, in terms of pegging in his accessories, let's just peg him on the base. Um, they do peg into the side of the leg, like I said. You just peg him in, like so. And give him his gun. And there we go. There is Cobra Commander with all his weapons and so on. Very nice indeed. Um, it's a really good figure. Definitely one of the best out of the GI Joe line. Like I, like most of you know, I have a have a thing for Destro. I have a thing for Cobra Commander. You know, but um, I really do like the figures. These toys do work well together, even though they're not the classic 80s, you know, they do look well with some of the other movie figures, like uh, the Crimson Vipers, or the Crimson Guards, so, yeah, this figure does really work well, and I really do suggest you pick this guy up, he's a really good looking toy. And great on display, especially with the uh, two Crimson Vipers behind him. So, uh, anyway, that's it for this video review. I will have more G.I. Joe video reviews coming up soon. Because I'm kind of sick of Revenge of the Fallen toys. So, yeah, that's it for this video review. And I will see you guys later.